What's up, everybody? Peter McKinnon What's here. What's up, everybody? Peter McKinnon here, and today we're. That's kind of it's kind of my thing. It's kind of a, a one man job. I thought I I just I I thought yeah. I could do it today. No, I, no, I mean, appreciate you do it all the time, that, but no. So I figured, like, one no, day. I'm gonna keep doing it. All right. Yeah. Actually, I, they I they love it when like I do it, it and when I don't do, do it, it they, they just... get more like, why didn't you do it? And and okay, yeah, no, yeah, no, you okay, just just sit there and chill. I'll just sit here and wait it out. I'll just wicked. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. What's up, everybody? Peter McKinnon here, and today we're talking about how to clone yourself. You're throwing me off, like. What is going on, everybody? So good to see all of your smiling faces back here for another Peter McKinnon tutorial. Now, this one, this one's a fun one. It's a little quirky, but it kind of falls into that same realm as like the how to make stuff float photo. Like it's it's not necessarily like a, a really popular thing that's done all the time that you see over and over and over and over. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it done before. It's it's not new. It is it's this is age old. Learned this so long ago. But it's one of those things that's just fun to reincorporate or find new ways to breathe new life into and just get Get creative with it. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it both in Premiere and in Photoshop, because you can do it both with video, like you guys saw in the intro, and you can do it uh, in Photoshop for photos. So if you've got kids and you wanna make a really cool creative kind of scene, you can place them all over the room doing different things or find cool ways to advertise. It's kind of the sky's the limit. It's kind of like, it's up to your imagination to what you wanna do with it. I'm just gonna give you the uh, the rundown of how it works because it's like super easy to do. It doesn't take very long at all. Okay, so let's jump into it. Uh, let's start with video. I'm gonna show you guys the actual clip that I used to make the intro, and then I'm going to show you the photo series that I did to make the thumbnail, and then you guys can, I'm leaving it in your hands, then it's up to you. I am removed from the situation after that. I had so much coffee today that my hands are out of control. Okay, all right, let's go. All right, now that you're in Premiere, you're gonna grab the two clips that you need to do this. Now, make sure, obviously, you're filming yourself twice, one reacting to the other and the other reacting to the other. So you kinda gotta remember what you're saying and try to build a scene as if you're acting it out to make it, uh, that is if you're interacting with yourself in the frame. Which sounds really crazy when you think about it, but if you're cloning yourself and you're putting multiple people into the frame, if they're not saying anything and it's like a silent thing and it's done outside and it's a bird's eye view and multiple versions of yourself are popping up all over the grid, that's a different thing. But if you're doing something like I did for the intro where you want to actually interact with yourself, you gotta remember what you're saying in the first clip so that you can react to that in the second clip that you shoot where you're essentially talking to yourself. I, that makes sense, it's just really messed up to say, okay. So check this out, so this is the first clip here where I'm on the right and I'm talking to myself here on the left. So I shot those both individually. What you're gonna wanna do is take this clip and just drag it up and then drag the audio down. We're gonna make a gap so that we can slide the other half right underneath. But you're not gonna be able to see it because we have basically just stacked one layer on top of the other. So as a reference point, what I like to do is click on the top one and just drag that opacity down here in the effects tab, just so I can make sure it's it's in frame. Like I fit, it looks good, that kind of thing. Now, one of the things you wanna keep in mind when you're doing this is if you're sitting on a couch like this or you're talking to yourself, you wanna make sure there's good distance between you. If you're touching, if you're too close in one frame and then too close in the other frame, when you bring those together and we mask them away, surprise, spoiler alert, that's what's happening, uh, it gets all messed up with limbs moving around. So you wanna make sure that you're still separating the two items, the two people, yourself, in that frame so that you don't run into any like just nonsense in posts. It just makes it a lot easier to do. Okay, go to the first frame of that clip. So make sure you're at the first frame right here. Have that top clip selected. Come over here to the effects tab. Click on free draw Bezier. And now what you're gonna do is just draw a line straight down the middle and make a little box and connect it back at the top. Now we've just masked away the left side of this, basically keeping the right side, the other person who we want in frame. Okay, so now at this point, let's take a look. If we were to play it back now. 
So now we've we basically merged those two clips into one. We're almost done, but we've got this weird harsh line. And it's weird because you might think to yourself, well, I didn't move the lights, I didn't move the camera, nothing's changed. But your shadow is casting a different light over that wall from the left side of this image so that it's gonna look different on the right. So it kind of messes it up. So we need to blur that line right down the center and fuzz it out so it blends nicer. So all you gotta do for that is make sure that top layer is selected, click on mask so it brings up that mask again and then we're gonna change that mask feather. Now look at this. If we just make sure that the clip is selected again, we come back here to mask feather. See how it moves that closer to my arm? So watch, blur it, and it just fades away. Now if you fade too much, it starts fading into your actual body. You don't wanna fade into your actual body. So back it off just a little bit. Make sure it's good right there. You can also change uh, mask expansion, but if you change the expansion too much, you start to become see-through. So don't do that. Make sure that's, uh, that's a good distance away. I like to tweak it a little bit, and then you can go back to fit screen. Look at that. That's perfect. We've blended that light from the left to the right seamlessly. Now the last thing you might want to do is create an adjustment layer so that you can color correct this clip as one clip. Because a lot of the times you don't want to color correct one and then color correct the second. You can paste attributes over from one clip to another, but I've found it's just easier to make an adjustment layer and you can do that by right clicking down here in your project panel, hit new item, adjustment layer, just hit okay. It makes an adjustment layer, just drag it on top. It's gonna to be small, so just zoom out there by hitting command minus and then just drag that out the rest of the way. So now if you're gonna do any kind of color correction, let's say we wanna put a LUT on this to just make it easy and fast. We can go over here to the right side under the creative tab, click look, it's gonna open up this menu where it says none, you're gonna hit browse. And then you can browse and select your LUTs. I've got my LUT pack open right here. We can click Kodak Killer, which is my fave. Makes it a little bit too orange, but you can just drag that intensity right down to zero and then slowly introduce it back. So I'm happy with it right about 20 usually, 23, whatever, that looks fine. So now we've color graded the entire clip as a whole, like combining both of them as a whole instead of both individually. So they're gonna look the same. Okay, so it's pretty much exactly the same in Photoshop. It's just, we're doing it with photos. It's actually easier because now we don't have moving subjects, right? Limbs aren't flying all over the place. There's nothing to like worry about of, with regards to like how close you are to the next person, like we had to worry about with video. Uh, you can actually overlap a little bit in Photoshop because you can be meticulous and use the pen tool or mask in and around different things to make it feel a little more real, even though this is obviously not real, but check this out. So if we're looking here, here's one shot I did of just leaning at my desk here, super distraught that there's no coffee left in my cup. But um, I just pointed the light in this direction so that that scene was lit. Then I went over and, uh, slept on my couch and I pointed the light over there to make sure that shot was lit. And then I sat on my chair in the middle for the center point, held onto the mic and made sure that was lit and shot all those pictures individually. So here's picture one, here's picture two, and here's picture three. And essentially what we do is we bring all of those into Photoshop and then we just either pen tool, or erase, if you wanna be super sloppy about it, kind of like what I did today. <laughs> or uh, you can mask away, so check this out, this is what you do. So select all three of them, one, two, three, drag those into PS, <sighs> I wish it was called PM, whatever. And this is what you're gonna do. So for instance, check this out, hit Command A to copy all, Command C, and we're gonna go over to this tab and Command V to paste it on. We just check this opacity over here on the right side, you can see that's where the image is and there's lots of space in between. So there's nothing to be, you don't have to be super meticulous with this one. You can literally just hit E for the eraser tool, hold down your bracket to make that bigger and just paint that away. You're done. You wanna color correct it at that point, compress the layers, merge them, that's fine. That is super easy to do. So when things are isolated and subjects aren't touching each other and there's nothing to overlap, it's super easy. Now it's when we're introducing the last photo, that's me in the middle, I'm much closer to the lens, so everything's behind me. So I actually have to mask or paint or erase or pen tool out all around my body to make those, you'll see what I mean. We would copy this picture, Command A, Command C, come over to this and paste it right here. So at this point, if we were to just be sloppy with this, hit the eraser tool and erase everything away, there we go, and over here, there we go. You'd say, but Pete, you've just erased yourself. And that's what I mean. That's why it's a lot more difficult 
you legitimately have to get in super tight. And I'm just gonna do this like quick and dirty. If, if you wanna do this for like a paid client or make it the best you can be, use the pen tool or at least use a layer mask so you can go back and fix your mistakes. But just for the sake of, of showing you how to do this super speed, <laughs> um, grab, a, grab an eraser and then just follow the line of that chair very slowly and do it little bit by little bit. Let go of the mouse, do a little bit more, let go of the mouse. And I say that because if you wanna command Z and go back, it's not gonna erase everything you just did because you've not let go of that mouse for like five minutes of painting and then you're like, oh no, what have I done? It's just, you know what? Netflix, I'm out. So do that real careful, follow that chair, and you can come all the way up here like this. You wanna make sure not to erase into your body. Nothing like that, so come all the way up, be nice. And, and then I'm just gonna do a super fast job so you guys get the point so we're not sitting here for seven days. And then when we zoom out, now we've got a clone. There's three of me in this photo and it's pretty easy to do. So you can really have fun with this and be creative and like the sky's the limit with what you can do. So this is just a very basic example, but I wanted to give you guys the tools and the wherewithal and the knowledge as to how to actually do this. Uh, and it's, uh, it's, it's a lot easier than you think. So have fun with it. And uh, that's how you do it in Photoshop. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely give it a shot. If you have any questions, drop them below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button, smash it if you so desire, because like I've said before, I won't hold it against you. Subscribe if you aren't already. And, and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's true. I'll be here. Might not be here, but I'll be around. I'll be around. Okay. Let's, let's just end this. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Peter McKinnon here. And that's kind of, it's kind of my thing. It's kind of a, a one-man job. No, I know I appreciate that, but no. No, I'm gonna keep doing it. <laughs>